Hey, I'm Dr. Megan Singletary, your friendly North Florida Paradise. Hope you guys are having a happy spring. I've been asked a lot about what's the difference between plaque and calculus. Plaque is live bacteria. It produces a proteinaceous matrix that protects it. It's called a biofilm. Eventually, our white blood cells penetrate it and kill the bacteria. Now, calculus is dead bacteria. It's the cell wall of the bacteria. It's endotoxin. Calcium and phosphorus out of saliva crystallizes into the cell wall of the bacteria. It's like barnacles on a pier piling. The reason why that's important is plaque is easy to remove. Once your immune system reacts to the bacteria, that inflammation destroys the bacteria, but also gum tissue attachment and bone. You get capillary dilation, it bleeds, gum separates from the root of the tooth. And if you have thick gum, you're gonna get space between your tooth and the gum called a pocket, something deeper than three millimeters. Anything deeper than five millimeters, I barely get that dead bacteria off the root, the calculus goes down. As I said, it's like barnacles on a pier pond. That's important because when you do treatment like root planing, which is conservative periodontal therapy, our ability to get that dead bacteria calculus off the root of two deeper than five millimeters is compromised. That's when another procedure may be necessary. Now, an old term for calculus, if you grew up in Durham, it's called tartar. Sounds like something you put on fish. But calculus is a little bit more erudite, you study calculus. But anyway, it's hard, difficult to remove. You can't do it by yourself. You need professional help. Hope that answers your question. If you got any other questions, please give us a call at North Carolina Paradigms. Thank you.